Okay, so continue with the uh, group file. Yep. So basically what we have in the group file are still in the same uh, course outcome and then program outcome, yeah, CO2 and CO3. So kita akan tengok uh, the concept of group files and also how to determine the alternate capacity for group files. Alright, so as you can see here that this is the group file and a pile cap is constructed over the group files. Okay, bila kita kata group files mean that uh, more than one, there are few uh, single file, okay, uh, located uh, under the same or the one file cap, okay, to uh, function as to transmit all the structure load to the soil. So, if you look at in a plan view, yeah, saya tengok dekat bawah ni, you can see that dia punya arrangement. Okay, we have this, if you look at here that the circle is the pile. So, kalau kita look kat sini, we have 1, 2, 3, 6 and 9 numbers of single pile. Alright, so there are 9 single piles in this group of pile. So, you will notice that we have the perimeter like DG and LG. We also have the spacing. Alright, for the group file, it should have uh, some space between uh, one single file to another single file to avoid overlapping. Okay, to avoid overlapping in the stress distribution. Okay. So, what would happen if it's overlap? Maknanya kalau kedudukan if, the location is really next to the one is very close, it will reduce the load bearing capacity of piles. Yeah, bila too close, it will reduce the load bearing capacity. Yeah, sebab apa berlakunya overlapping of the stresses. So, the ideal uh, condition is uh, give some space yeah, from one single pile to another single pile. Alright, so in practice, normally we use 2.5D. D here is the diameter of single pile. Ataupun individual pile, eh. Alright, so you get this spacing. One to another pile is 2.5D. Or sometimes there are also ada juga yang go for 3 to 3.5D. Okay, and basically the LG will be more than DG, right? And then you can notice here is N1 and N2. That one is the numbers of pile. As you can see here that in a horizontal direction, so 1, 2, 3. So, but then here the N1, the number of pile here is 3. And then for the directions of vertical, the numbers of pile, that's me is 3 okay all right okay and then uh, we had the group efficiency when dealing with the pile group all right so we need to determine how efficient that the, the, the load bearing capacity so this is the equation to get the group efficiency okay how efficient so the equation is a uh, group ultimate yeah, group ultimate to the ultimate for each pile, but that is the summation total. Eh? We analyze as a single pile, but then uh, take into account how many numbers of piles, okay, and the ratio from the group to the total of individual pile will give you an efficiency. All right, so look at this. Uh, uh, equation. This one is for sand. So, untuk group pile, eh, for group piles in sand, so we only consider the friction resistant. Alright, the friction resistant, meaning that from the QS, friction resistant between the soil and piles. Alright, so the QU is equivalent to QS. So, if you look at back at the equation, so the equations of QS, kalau you still remember, Alright, so this is P perimeter times with the delta M times with the friction. Okay. Alright, so this equation is actually similar with the single pile previously yang kita pernah tengok eh. 
and the the analysis of the uh, group file eh, should be made in two ways okay in two method the first one we analyze it as an individual file and then the second one we need to analyze it as a block so at the end uh, we will have two value of q ultimate so which one that we will choose so we will go for the lower value of q ultimate Okay, in the worst case scenario lah, kita ambil yang paling worst condition. So, we go for lowest value of Q ultimate. Okay, so we need uh, to do analysis for both, okay, individual as also for a block. And then we compare and then choose the lower values. Okay, from this also we can determine the efficiency. Okay, remember that we, we need to analyze in group okay and then as a block and then as an individual the ratio of these two will give you an efficiency okay. right and then uh, the ultimate capacity for the clay right so similar with the sand okay but then uh, similar in terms of uh, analyzing as an individual and also as a block. But then for clay, eh, in a group files, we need to consider the end bearing, which is QP, and also the friction, which is QS. Alright, so that's why if you look at the equation, okay, whether as an individual or as a block, you can see that we have QP and this one is QS. This is QP and this one is QS. Okay. All right. So, and then uh, for the ultimate, you can see that we have the QP and QS, but then we have N1 and N2. All right. So, we analyze uh, firstly as an individual. Kita analyze as an individual using this equation. Similar like pre in previous uh, notes, bila kita tengok single pile, eh, sama equation yang sama. We analyze as a single pile and then you get the QP and QS for a single pile. Alright, what you need to do at the end is to times with the numbers of piles. Okay, so in this case, we have 9. So, meaning that you will have 9 in the front of this equation, for example, okay. Times with the QP, times with the QS for each Alright, okay, that is the meaning of an individual. Analyze first as an individual and then times with the total numbers of file that we have in the group. Okay, um, different with block, eh, if, we, if we analyze it as a block, we will take the whole area. So that's why we will have LG and BG for the perimeter. So to get an area, we will have that LG times with BG. Okay. To get the perimeter, you have the BG plus LG times with 2 because this is will have this one also LG and also at this length also the BG. Okay. That is uh, how we use the BG and LG. Okay, so it's two different. We we'll analyze as an individual and as a block. Alright, so if you look at this question, okay, you have the NC, N subscript C star here. The bearing capacity factor. Alright, so to get this NC, sorry. For individual here, okay, we have 9 here, eh? sorry, 9 and then the alpha, okay, alpha. Alpha is the uh, empirical addition factor, so you can refer to this table, also the same table as in single pile, eh? table yang sama you pernah tengok di single pile, eh? alright. So, you can get the alpha by have the ratio of cohesion and drain with the atmospheric pressure. Right. 
And then as a block, okay, bila as a block, you have the BG and LG, you have the cohesion, you have the NC, sub, N subscript C star here. Okay, for as a block, the NC, alright, should be obtained from this figure, from this curve ataupun plot. So this plot need you to have L over BG. And also LG over BG. Then it will give you NC value. I will show you in an example uh, after this. Okay. Uh, this plot ataupun this curve ni baru lagi eh. Ini baru ditunjukkan di sini. Belum ada lagi di previous uh, lectures note tadi. Sebelum ni. Okay. So, kita go straight to an example to make it more clear for you to understand. Alright, so the sections of a 3 times 4 group file. Okay, at the same time, you look at the diagram eh. The number of file here from the side view kat sini nampak ada 4 eh. Okay. Uh, in a layered saturated clay, and then the files are square in cross section. Square in cross section. With the size given 356mm times 356mm. And the D spacing center to center is 889mm. Kalau you tengok, it is roughly around 2.5D. Okay, spacing ni, D is 0 0.889 times weight 2.5, it's around 0 0.89. Okay. So, I determine the allowable load bearing capacity. And use the factor of safety 4. Alright. Okay. So, firstly, equation to be used. Identify dulu what kind of equation that we want to use. So, here, the soil is clay soil. Alright. So, you will have this equation for individual and this one for block. Again, we need to analyze for both uh, way, both approach. And then we need to compare. Okay. Uh, okay. Look as at look at the uh, as an individual. So this equation need you to have n one and two q p and e q s here. All right. And then what is n one and n two? So this is the plan view of this one, eh? Okay. So we have. Uh, LG here, 4. So, in this direction, in the horizontal direction, is based on LG length. So, means that N1 will equivalent to 1, 2, 3, 4. N is the number of piles. Eh? And N2 is based on the BG uh, vertical. Eh? So, 1, 2, 3. So, N2 is 3. Okay. Right. Well, this is an equation that how we can get the LG and BG. Okay, after this I can tunjuk. Sama ada you guna equation ni ataupun lebih mudah secara secara yang lebih mudah macam mana. Um, okay. So now, calculate as, as, as an individual file. Determine the N1 and N2. So now, what else parameter that we need for QP? Eh? Kita kira QP. 9CUAP. Okay, 9. Okay, CU. So we need to determine the CU. Alright, look at this question. You have two layers. You have two different properties. CU gamma set. CU layer number 2 gamma set. So, which CU that we will use because this QP refer to end bearing. Maknanya, where is the location at the end point or at the pile tip. So, the parameter involved here is CU 85.1. So, the CUP for end bearing is 85.1. And then the A P is the area of pile, okay, area of pile, single pile, eh. So, given the piles are in square 
cross section with this size so you can get the area and finally you can calculate the QP once you have 9 CU and area so this is the QP for individual pile and then we need to calculate QS so QS parameter that we need is perimeter delta L alpha and CU kalau we tengok we have this symbol means that totals or sum so first identify the perimeter for piles for the single pile so this is the perimeter and then make it more easier in table so we have delta L C C over P A and alpha so we will refer to this table okay this table also you boleh tengok dekat Raja M Das book okay principle of foundation engineering okay uh, we make it into table because we have two different uh, delta L uh, with different value of CU. So the first delta L is 4.57 with the CU 50.3. So to get the alpha, you should have the ratio of CU over atmospheric pressure. So we have 0 0.503, make it 0 0.5, just take two decimal point. So 0 0.5. Okay, kat saya tulis 0 0.68. How they get the 0 0.68? So, we refer to this table. Okay, so 0 0.5 is obviously located in the middle. Yeah, tengah-tengah in between 0 0.4 and 0 0.6. So, this one is quite straightforward lah. You can just get an average of these two values, 0 0.74 and 0 0.62 divided by 2. So, you will have 0 0.68. And then for the next layer with the delta L 13.72, the CU is 85.1. So to get the alpha ratio to the atmospheric pressure, 0 0.851, make it 0 0.85. If you look at the table, 0 0.85, okay, is in between 0 0.8 to 1.1. But then it is not a middle point. Okay. So in between 0 0.8 and 1 is 0 0.9. So 0 0.85 is in the middle of 0 0.8 and 0 0.9. So you can use either using interpolation for these two values 0 0.54 and 0 0.48. So, you will get 0 0.53 or using average to an average lagi. Maknanya, at first, you get the average between 0 0.5, 0 0.8 to 0 0.9. You dapat one value and then 0 0.8. Sorry. No. Um, yeah, get the value for 0 0.5. So, it is in the range of 0 0.8 to 1. And then, in between 0 0.8 to 0 0.9, you have another value, which is 0 0.85. Okay? Means that you buy average to dua kali to get the 0 0.85 punya point alpha. Okay? So, ataupun you use interpolation kat sini. So, you will get 0 0.53. Jawapan dia sama lah. Okay. Alright, so we have all the alpha. Okay, we also have the perimeter. So now we can get the QS as an individual. So this is the perimeter. This is the delta L for the first layer. This is the alpha and this is the CU for the first layer. Since we have the sum uh, symbol there, so we need to have another layer. This is the perimeter of the pile. This is the delta L for the second layer. This is the alpha for the second layer. And this is the CU for the second layer. So, we total uh, these two values. So, you will get the QS 1103.78 kN. And finally, to get the overall value, 
Okay, for each single pile times with the total numbers of piles. Okay, which is 3 and 4 is 12. Okay, so times with QP and QS. So you will have this one. Okay, right, so this is baru yang pertama. You analyze as an individual pile. So now we need to analyze as a block and then compare. Right. Okay. So calculate as a block. So you also have QP and QS. But then the perimeter use is big G and LG for the QP. And then we have CU and C. Okay, also for the S, Q, S, they also need the B, G, L, G, and then C, U. Okay, how to get this L, G value? L, G is the length of this uh, group. Okay, if you look at here that we have D times 3. D is a spacing. Spacing given in this question is 0 0.889 millimeter. So we have 3 times D. 1, 2, 3. So that's why the D times with 3. So this 3 is not fixed. It depends on your uh, uh, case or sample. If we have another pile, so we will have another D. So the D will become 4. Okay. That D is a not fixed. Ini bukanlah equation yang fixed. Eh? And then uh, D here is a diameter. So as you can see here that this is the spaces between uh, one uh, pile to one pile. So we know that it is center to center. So we have another half of the diameter. And also here is half of diameter. Half plus with half will become D1. Alright, so this is the... LG. D given in the question is 0 0.356 and this is the spacing. And also for BG, BG in a Y direction or in a vertical direction. So we have 1, 2. Right. Then times or plus with D. Same concept. Eh? We have another half D here and also another half D here. Half plus half will become 1, which is D. So, this is the BG. If you look at here, we also can use this equation. Untuk dapat LG, we also can use this equation. N1 minus 1 times D plus 2 times D over 2. Pun boleh juga. You boleh juga guna equation ni. Tak ada masalah eh for BG. You will get the same answer. Okay. Alright, but this is, uh, this, uh, I just want to show you how actually we get the, the, the LG. Okay. So now we have the LG and BG. Oh yeah, we can also use this equation. Okay, so. So N is 4. And 2 is 3. N is the numbers of file. Okay. So, calculate as a block. Okay. So, now kita dah tahu BG and LG. So, we calculate first for QP. So, we need to have another CU and NC. Right. CU, what CU? So, 
QP is end bearing pile. Again, is at the pile tip, dekat end point, dekat akhir sekali, dekat mana location of pile. So, it's in CU 85.1. So, CU is 85.1. Then, how about the NC? So, NC, we need to determine the NC using the uh, curve graph here. So, to use this one, you make sure have the LG over BG, eh? LG over BG. And L over BG, L over BG. The Y axis is the NC, the X axis is the L over BG, and the curve plotted here is LG over BG. So now we have the LG over BG is 1.4. There is no, it's not shown directly here. And also the L over BG is 8.6. So, if you look at here that the L over BG, it stop at 5. So, macam mana nak dapat 8.6. So, what you can do, you extend the plot of x-axis up to the suitable point here is like at 9. Because we want 8.6. So, you use the same length. Okay, use the same length. To extend another point from 5 to 6, 7, 8 and 9. Okay. And then LG over BG is 1.4. The curve here is 1, 2, 3 and infinity. We need is 1.4. So we don't have that one directly. So we can, we can add another uh, curve. Okay, since we have the L over BG until 9, so we can just extend this length. Okay, because it will become constant. Okay, we are looking for 1.4. There is no line of 1.4. So we need to, we need to uh, draw another line for 1.4. So it's in between 1 to 2. Okay, you make it relevant, adjust dia to look like at 1.4 eh. So, ini kalau tengok dari jauh like 1.5. Okay, lebih kurang lah eh, lebih kurang dia. Okay, plot the same pattern of the curve. Okay, plot the same pattern of the curve but then for 1.4. LG over BG 1.4. How to roughly estimate, kita refer dekat bawah ni. So, this is line to 1. This is line number 2. So, in the middle is 1.5. So, roughly estimate where is the 1.4. Okay. Alright. Then, because we want the NC value. So, we have the L over BG 8.6. So, look at sini 8.6. Going upward and then mid with the intersect with the line of LG over BG 1.4 in a green color here. Okay. And then uh, moving towards point uh, Y axis. So it's roughly estimate here is the NC subscript C eh, is roughly 8.7. Okay, roughly around 8.7. So, we use this 8.7 as the NC value in this case. Okay. Now, we have LGBG, we have the CU, we have the NC. So, you can calculate the QP. Alright. So, this is the LBG. This is the LG, this one is the CU, and this is the NC. Okay. So now we have this one. So another one that we need to calculate is QS. So for the QS as a block here, this is the equation. So LG and BG settle. Okay, delta L, so we have two delta L here need to consider and the CU also have two. Okay, right, so this is for perimeter, so we have two, this is the BG, this is the LG, this one is the delta L1, 
This is the CU1 plus with the delta L2 for this one plus with the CU2. Alright. So total we have the QS is this value. Okay. This is how we get the QS as a block. Okay. Now, total. To get the total, big total here. So, we have the QP. This is the QP. And QS just now. So, we just total these two value. So, you will have 19189. Number 2. So, we need to compare both approaches. This is at number 1 just now. This is at number 2. So, select the lowest value to be considered as uh, ultimate capacity for the group file. So, obviously, we will take this one. So, that is the ultimate group capacity. Alright, so the question need you to calculate the allowable. So knowing that the allowable is QU over factor of safety. So since we have choose this one, divide by the factor of safety 4. So you will have this Q allowable for the group file. Okay, so the step a uh, little panjang because we need to calculate uh, in uh, both methods as an individual and also as a block. Then we need to compare and then we select or choose the lowest value as a final ultimate group file. Alright. Okay. Um, any question? <laughs>